Welcome to this introductory walkthrough of Zosync, an integration between Ontraport and Xero to help automate your bookkeeping. Ontraport is well known by cutting edge entrepreneurs for being the easiest and best way to automate processes in your business. Xero is the easiest and most beautifully designed bookkeeping system, and Zosync brings the two together. When you first come to the Zosync website, there are a number of places where you can start your free trial. Just click on the free trial button and it's going to take you to the login screen. From here, if you already have access, you can log in. Otherwise, click on register and fill in the form to register. Once you've completed the form, click register and it'll take you to the welcome screen. From here, Simply click the Begin Your Free Trial button to start the process of the Zosync Wizard. The first step of the Zosync Wizard is to get your API key from Ontraport. So to get this, if you don't know how to obtain that, there's a link here that'll take you to the documentation in Ontraport that tells you exactly how to get your API key. From within, Ontraport, go to Administration, Integrations, and Ontraport API Key Instructions, and click on New API Key. Give this a particular name. I recommend giving it the name Zosync, and then select a user, and you can tick all of these boxes here, except the Delete Contacts one, and hit Save. Once you've got your new key, you can copy and paste the credentials into Zosync. Give this the same name as you've created in Ontraport. Next step is to save this and a test will run to make sure that it works. If you get this green message at the top, it means that it was successful. If you're having any problems with step one, you can click on this Learn More Here link to take you to the support docs for this step. Now click Next and it's going to take you to the step to connect to Xero. In here, choose your Xero account name. This is just your company name for Xero. Click Connect and it's going to take you to authenticate your Xero account. Click Allow Access for Zosync to get a token from Xero to connect. And then if you receive this green notification up here, then it has been connected successfully. Now you're connected to both Ontraport and Xero. The next step is to match products, coupons, and shipping from Ontraport into the, the um, correlating items in Xero. So starting with products. Within your Ontraport account, under the Sales tab, you'll have this Products link. If you have any products that you're selling, this is where you would have created them. And what we're going to do is match these products with items or accounting codes that you have in Xero. So if you open up your Xero account, you can click on Inventory, and this is where you have any of your inventory items in your Xero account. It's a good idea to match what you have in products with what you have in items, inventory items in Xero. As you can see in my Sandbox account here, I've got website subscription, ebook one and ebook two, and I've got the same in here. The benefit of doing this is that when you create an inventory item in Xero, you can also lock this item into a particular accounting code. For example, this website subscription item automatically is going to be logged into the account called 201 subscription income, and this is great for reporting purposes. The first step of connecting or matching products is to select a default sales account. Now, if you don't want to map every product to every item, you can simply have this selected to override um, all of the settings for all products in Entreport. So if I want, if I don't want to match up particular products with particular items, I can select a particular account here that is going to be used for all sales or all product sales in the invoices that are created. If instead you do want to match 
um, Entreport products to zero items, you can do it using these drop downs. If you don't have a particular item yet created, you can just select an account instead. And this will still work. So if I don't have the ebook to item created in zero, I can simply still lock this down to 202 ebooks if I want and then hit next. The next step is to match your coupons. If you do use coupons in Entreport, they're found under sales settings coupon codes. For this account, I've created a Christmas sale coupon here, which is for 10% off of specific products. Now, the way that Zosync works is, again, um, you can match general coupons to a particular sales account. So I want all my discounts to go into a particular sales account called 210 Sales Discounts. But you can also match particular coupons to either items or you can match it to accounts. So because this is a coupon that is specifically going um, to be discounted against ebooks, I'm going to put this in the ebooks account. Any other discounts that are created will go into the sales discount account um, unless I have a specific match for them. Now that coupons are completed, we move on to matching the shipping um, settings. In Entreport, shipping is found under sales, settings, shipping methods. In my account, I've got two options, express and standard. These can be mapped again to a specific sales account. I have a shipping sales account. And again, you can match specific items in Entreport um, to items in Zero. So for example, if I wanted to create a shipping item in inventory, I can do that here. So create a new item, give it a code, call it shipping. You can say, I sell this item. And the minimum that you need is an accounting code here and a description. Now that this has been created, I can go back to Zosync and it'll appear in my zero items. If it's not appearing right away, just hit previous to go back to the previous step. And then on the load, on the page load, when you come back, you'll see that it will now appear. So here we now have the shipping options. After shipping, the next step is to match Entreport gateways to zero payment accounts. Gateways are set up under sales, settings, gateways. And in this account, I've got three separate payment gateways. One is authorized.net, one is Stripe, and one is the Entreport dummy gateway. So for any new gateways or where gateways are not defined in a transaction, we can have default um, settings here. The first setting to match is the zero branding theme. A branding theme in zero is a uniquely designed template for your invoice. In our zero account, we've got an Australian dollar standard template and a US dollar template. In zero, this can be found under settings, general settings, and invoice settings. And what it means is that you can have two different looking invoices related to a particular gateway that you're using in Entreport. So my, for my general one, because my account is locked to the US dollar, I'm going to use um, the US dollar template. Select a currency that you're going to use um, for these transactions. Mine's going to be US dollar. And then decide which bank account this is going to be going into. So for this particular one, I'm just going to have it go into the bank uh, savings here. Well, actually, no, I'll put this one into my Stripe account because this is a US dollar transaction account and this one is an Australian dollar transaction account. Next, we can match particular gateways with their own settings. So again, we can set these up individually. And for the dummy gateway, I'll just use the Australian dollar one. Now, obviously, this only makes sense if you are actually transacting in these currencies. 
Uh, the reason why I've got two different currencies in here is that you can actually transact um, in Entreport um, order forms with two different currencies if the gateway is locked to a particular currency. For example, in Australia, the gateway eWay is usually locked to the Australian dollar. So if you decide to use that gateway in an order form, it will transact in Australian in Australian dollars, regardless of what currency your Entreport account is set to. So by having an eWay account and a Stripe account, you can actually transact in both currencies. The next step is to match taxes. If you collect taxes in Zero, um, if you if you collect taxes in Entreport, your taxes that you've created will appear here. These are found under Sales Settings Taxes. At the moment, I've only got one tax um, created and it's at 10% called the GST. So you need to match this tax that you have in Entreport with a tax that you have in Zero. So these um, automatically generated tax codes um, come into all Australian Zero accounts. If you're from a different country, you'll have auto-generated tax codes as well. It's a good idea to create any of these taxes that you need for income or revenue um, in Entreport if you want to be collecting tax in Entreport. Now, if you don't collect tax in Entreport, that's okay. We can still report it in zero um, by making that making the amounts that are paid tax inclusive. And we can do that with this exceptions setting down here. First of all, select a 0% accounting code for when no tax is collected in Entreport. So for Australia, this would be GST free income. But for certain transactions where no tax is collected, I would like it to be tax, tax inclusive. So even though no tax is um, collected in Entreport, I do want to report in zero that the amount that was paid was tax inclusive. And that for me is for anyone whose country is equal to Australia. So for anyone whose country's billing country is equal to Australia, I'm going to have tax inclusive on that order. And that's how you create this. So if you, if you need to collect tax or report on tax in a specific country, zip code, state, city, or even for a particular company name that you need to do this for, you can create these exceptions using this exception builder. And you can do this for multiple countries. So for example, if you need to collect the VAT tax in different European countries, you can add an exception for each country and don't worry about selecting, um, uh, collecting any of the taxes within Entreport, uh, within Entreport. Once the taxes have been created, you can move on to the notification step. Here you'll, you'll be able to put in your email address to be notified whenever there's an error in your setup. Finally, we come to the testing area of step nine. Now, step nine um, allows you in your trial account to create any of the um, transactions that are listed. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a couple of manual transactions now in my Entreport account so that we can see them come in here and, and do some tests. I've used Entrepages to create two order forms. One is for the ebook one and the other order form is for website subscription. And I'm going to show you an example of a transaction coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form um, twice for two different um, test clients and then we'll um, run these as um, tests in Zosync to see how they look in Zero. Now that I filled out the form I'm going to submit this order. So this one's for the website subscription. I've just created a, a random um, uh, person to place that order with and now I'm also going to do the same with this particular um, order for um, the ebook for nine dollars. One thing to point out about these two order forms is that I'm using two separate gateways. One is Stripe and one is the dummy gateway to demonstrate the two different ways that you can be transacting an Entreport in two different currencies. 
Now that those two transactions have been successful, I'm going to go back to the notifications section and then come back again to the test to, re to retrieve those two transactions. So here are the two new transactions that I've just made, Julie and Chris. Now to test in your free trial account, all you need to do is click create. And I recommend using the draft um, button to begin with because these are easy to delete if there is a problem. So click on draft and then within a few seconds, this will create the invoice as a draft in your Xero account. Once that's created, if you want to view the created invoice, click the link here and it'll take you into Xero to view that invoice. So here's the invoice as it appears in Xero. You can see that this one is the Stripe transaction that is for the US dollar amount. Next, I'm going to try the transaction of $20 for Julie Robinson. I'm going to also create a draft for this one. Click on click to view. And you can review the invoice that has been created. This one is the Australian dollar branding theme and the amount is in Australian dollars because this is using the dummy gateway. Um, this um, tax rate here is GST free income because um, it is a Great Britain company. So I don't need to charge them any tax. Okay, so now that we've got these um, drafts tested and, and it looks like it's working okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. To delete them, all you need to do is tick these boxes and click delete. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create these for real. So click create and authorize. And this time it's gonna create the invoice as an authorized invoice and apply the payment against it. And I'm gonna do the same for both of these new transactions. You can view these invoices as well. And this time you'll see that there's a payment against the invoice. If you would like this to happen automatically, in the dashboard, all you need to do is turn on the transaction sync here. Now the transaction sync won't work until you update, um, upgrade your plan. If you wanna upgrade your plan, come here and click on the manage subscription area and simply click on upgrade subscription and fill in the order form um, to, to sign up for a $1 trial for one month, which will turn into a $29 subscription. You can cancel it at any time um, during the first 30 days um, to test out the sync for only $1 for 30 days. Once your bank feed comes in, you can then reconcile the invoice that has been created against the bank feed. So for this account, I can come in and simply click on the OK button between the invoice that has been created and the payment against that invoice. Or this is the line item of the transaction in the um, bank statement. And this here is the payment against the invoice. Um, Zero is smart at being able to match these up based on the date and the names or the words within the payment and the bank feed. So as you can see, these are easily matched up. And then all of the transactions are reconciled. So I've just got to do this for one more bank account, which is the US dollar Stripe account. So if you use um, Stripe to um, sell in Entreport, you will need a way to bring that feed into um, into zero, and there are a number of options you can have. But generally, if you if you do bring it in, it should look like this, where you've got your Stripe transaction for the total amount, which was nine dollars ninety, and then usually the um, the fee is also added in to the bank statement. So when you reconcile, you'll see the full payment against the invoice of nine dollars ninety. And then there'll be the Stripe fee, which you can then create a transaction for um, against uh, payment to Stripe. Thanks for watching, and that completes the basic setup for the free trial version of Zosync.